everyone. My name is Lauren, and I am one of the co-presidents of Rowan University's 3D Printing Club. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own personalized desk nameplate in Onshape. So let's get started. I first want to show you what exactly this nameplate plate looks like before we actually get into the designing process. Um, so nameplates, we all know that we see nameplates on people's desks, especially if they have high positions like a, a professor at a university. If you go into their office, you'll most likely see something like this on their desk with their name on it. So we are going to get a head start and we're going to make them for ourselves as college students. How cool is that? Um, so yeah, this is kind of what the gist is here. We're just going to make a very simple kind of bent L shaped um, sketch. We're going to extrude that for six inches, put some words on top of it, extrude that, and then call it a day. So it's a very simple um, model for people, especially if they don't have a lot of on-shape experience, which is why we are doing this workshop. So um, yeah, awesome. Let's get started. So of course, the first step is to go to Onshape. And once you sign in, you will see a screen that looks just like this. Um, so then once you are ready to start your model, you can come over here to this create button, hit that down arrow, and then select new document. It's going to ask you what you would like to name your document. I'm just going to go with 3D PC nameplate, but you can just do whatever you would like. All right, so now we have our new document all ready to go. We're going to start, of course, with a sketch. So hit that sketch button, select the plane. I'm going to do front, but you can do whichever you'd like. And we are going to come up here to our line tool all the way at the left side of our sketching toolbar here. Um, and then just bring your cursor over this middle point of the plane. And then once it turns yellow, go ahead and click that and just drag it out to the right. And it does not matter what size you make this line because we are going to dimension it. So for the second step here, we're going to come over to now the right hand side of our toolbar, hit that dimension tool, and then just make sure that this is 1.5 inches. Perfect. All right. So that's a very easy first step. So hope you're all with me there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose this three points arc tool. Just select that. And then we're also going to use the same first point that we used to make our line. So once that turns yellow, we're going to click that. And then notice we have this kind of curvy line here that we're trying to work with. So you can just eyeball it. I really don't have a dimension for this, um, but just kind of click it maybe to be a little bit to the left of that center line of the plane there. And then you can just kind of drag it out um, to make sure that it is in line with the line that we just made. So this would be something that we're looking for. This is not because it's going away from that line. We want it to be on the same line there. Perfect. Yep. yep. So once you have it in place, all you have to do is just click and it should turn dark blue. And that's when you know that it has saved. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Sometimes it takes a couple clicks, um, but I eventually got it to work there. All right. So we have our three point arc there connected to our line. And now all we have to do is just take another line and put it on the end of our three-point arc, and then just go up, 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 all the way up there. Perfect. And we are going to dimension that line to be two inches. There we go. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Um, now what we're going to do is just kind of go around it with another set of lines so that we actually have a block that we can extrude here. So we cannot use on, on um, this thing, offset, I'm sorry. Um, we can't use that because it just doesn't work with the three-point arc, so I'll show you what I mean here. Yeah, so this offset cannot be created at this distance, so that's all right. We can just uh, do it the long way, which is fine. We will still end up with the same product. So we're going to take our line again, and we're just going to come out here like that. We're going to dimension that little line there to make sure that it is 0.25 inches. Perfect. All right, so just keep tracing the lines. So we're going to go down like here. Um, make sure that your line has those blue and yellow ticks on it to make sure that it is in fact straight. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Oops. 
and just going to go down and make sure that we hit that other part. So once your structure turns gray on the inside, that is when we have our shape that we're looking for. Um, so I know that this width here is 0.25 inches, but I'm not sure about this. So I'm just going to make sure that this is in fact what we're looking for. Yep. 0.25 and that is perfect. All right, so you might be thinking, well, huh, this is really rugged looking. Like, look at these sharp edges here. We wanna curve it out and make it look like this. So to do that, we can use this really cool fillet tool here. It's right between the scissors and this fun construction thing here. So we're gonna click on that. And then all you have to do is just click between the two lines that you want the fillet to occur. So we're gonna do these two and then notice if you click that, um, left clicker on your mouse, it solidifies and you have these really nice looking curves here, which is exactly what we want. Now, the last thing to do before we go into extrusion of our structure here is we want to get this here to be a curvy line too. And we're actually going to use our three point arc again to do that. So just go ahead and click anywhere along those two lines and it should give you Okay, I did not do that quite right. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, if you can try to use this three point arc as a reference, that would be great. So see if I can get this now. There we go. All right, so again, once you have, once you are happy with the placement of your three point arc, click down and it will turn dark blue like this. And then we can kind of cut away at these extra lines that we don't need anymore. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Uh, we are actually done with our first sketch, so we can come over here and click this green check mark. And now um, what we're going to do is extrude. So come up here to the extrusion button and just select your structure here. And you can use your right clicker to kind of turn it around and see what it looks like in 3D. So we want this to be six inches and notice, wow, yeah, that gets really long. That's exactly what we want to see here. Perfect, so click that green check mark um, and only two more steps. So we have one more sketch that we want to do and that's for the letters for your name. So we're going to hit that sketch button. The sketch plane is now going to be the surface or the face of our extruded one. And we are just going to create a text box on this thing. So something in the middle should be perfect. I would not make it for the whole length of the box as in from here to here just because sometimes the text can be a little bit too big if you do that. And it's really hard to manipulate the size of text in Anchi, unfortunately. So we'll just stick with that. I'm going to put my name here. And notice that you can change the fonts of all these cool things. And you can see the preview in this gray box here. Um, I like that one. I think, oh, it changed on me. That's weird. <laughs> Any kind of font that you like works perfect. All right, so I'll just stick with Armino, if that's how you say it. I'm gonna click my green check mark and then my name should appear perfectly in the middle of my name plate, so awesome. So we're done with our sketch too, that was easy, quick, right? Click that green check mark and now all we have to do is extrude our letters. Just make sure that they are 0 0.20 inches. Hit that green check mark and wow, you're done, you have your name plate. Awesome, that looks great. Can't wait to put this on my desk. So if you would like for Rowan's 3D Printing Club to print this out for you, all you have to do is come over to Part Studio One and right click. Notice that the last option here is Export. So click on that. Um, you want to name this 3DPC dash your last name dash nameplate. Um, dash D. So today is 325.21. And that should be perfect. Uh, make sure that it's an STL. And then all the other things you can just leave the way they are. And yeah, hit OK. Notice that it comes down into your, I'm not sure if you can see this. Um, you can show it in folder so it would show up in your downloads and then all you have to do is just go to the form for free print that we provide and submit it there and then we will print it for you. So thank you so much for joining this tutorial today. If you like what we 
showed you today. Um, be sure to check out all of our other tutorials for Onshape and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.